So welcome everyone. My name is Felix, and I will be taking you through the first session uh, on Polygon, which is just going to be an introduction to Polygon 4. So there, there will be six sessions in total, and, um, and the goal for, for this first uh, session is mainly just to help you get started, um, what happens when you open uh, Polygon, how do I get a report started, and how do I actually navigate the, uh, the software. So today's objectives, we're going to create a report, we're going to uh, examine creating text panes, how to create hyperlinks, um, how to create links to other reports, um, some different shortcuts or hotkeys that are available to us, and then uh, look at our different uh, exporting options for, uh, for a report. So the important thing to note, actually, is because uh, a lot of people get confused about what, what Polygon actually does for you, and uh, it's actually just a visualization and report editing tool, so it won't actually do any analysis for you but you can actually use it in your analysis or if you want to um, show it in a presentation or for your class. Um, it, it is just uh, for, for the visualization. Um, so you can put graphs together, you can put movies with graphs together, um, etc. so that you can show um, different people. So it's not, it's not for analysis, it won't tell you anything more about the data than you couldn't have already calculated in Nexus um, already. So the first thing we're going to we're going to talk about actually is creating a report. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm actually just going to open up Polygon so that we can kind of do things a, a bit more hands-on. So when I open up Polygon, your your data manager that that was recently most recently open will open again. You'll see here my clips or my, my data manager. And the first thing to do to to create a report is actually to click on this button right here where it says new report. So Sorry, I'm just going to delete that. Um, just make sure that you are selected within your session so that it will link all of your trials together. You could also go into home and do like a, or sorry, like a new report up here. But if you do that, it may actually corrupt some of your files and um, some of the uh, files associated with each of these uh, trials may not be associated with that trial anymore. So I would recommend going in through the data manager and clicking on this new report button right here. So go ahead and do that. I'll just call this report 1. I'll double click on it and it'll ask me if I want to base this on a template. I don't have any templates right now. We'll talk about that in the future. So I'll go ahead and say no. And as soon as I open it, it, it kind of opens like a, a word processor would so that I can change uh, the font, the font size, um, the color of the background, color of my font, etc. Um, and if I want to go ahead and save my report, I can go ahead and click the save button, uh, save icon at the top, and then as soon as I do so, you can see in the data manager that this this uh, little icon pops up, which means that I've gone ahead and saved my report. So I'll just get rid of that, uh, the data manager, and what we'll do is um, we'll start looking at text panes. So on the left hand side, um, this is where all of your data will be stored. Anything about your your data or your links or your slides in your presentation will be shown here and at the bottom um, on this left hand side will be all of your text panes. So report one is my first text pane. I'm going to go ahead and add just a couple more uh, with this button here. So under report, text pane, and then I'll add another one. And uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to rename these just so that you guys can tell that there's a that there's a difference. So just click on new new name. I'll call that one A, call that one B, and then I'll call that C. So we can see here actually that uh, the main window here is kind of your your workspace. We have our time bar at the bottom as well, which is similar to Nexus. So this will actually be how you, you play through a lot of your trials. Uh, on the right hand side will be any of the attributes associated with this pane. And then at the top, these buttons will kind of change depending on what uh, what link I have selected at the top. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is for the first page, so to, in order to actually activate each um, text pane, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and double click on it or else it'll just be on the most active, um, most recently active uh, text pane that I was on. What I'm going to do is most people like to make this kind of like their title page, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Oh, sorry. I just selected the wrong one. So I'll make my back background blue, my font's going to be yellow, 
I'll just arbitrarily make that size 24 and centered and just say title page just so that it's a bit different so that when I'm, I'm cycling through um, each of the the panes that you're, that you're seeing that there's a difference all right and I'll go ahead and do the same thing with B so I've double clicked on that I will change the background back to white and just give this a title I'll change the font back to black this will be page B double click there and this will be page C so the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to talk about a text link so um, what you'll do here is you'll actually go to the page where you want to link to so let's say I want to link to B I'm going to click on page B I'm going to hit text link and go to the page where I want the link to appear so that's going to be C I will then click text link again and then I'll just say link to B. Now we can see that that link has appeared on page C. As soon as I click on it, it has linked me to page B. All right, so we'll just kind of review what some of those steps were right there. If I open this back, back up. So creating a report, we open the data manager, same as Nexus or Workstation. And we created a report through the data manager uh, in Polygon instead of clicking on file new as I said for the for the reasons that I, I talked about earlier and that button's just located there we save the report using the the save icon the little disk icon at the top shown there and uh, we saw that it created another icon in our data manager to let us know that 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 report was in fact saved and we talked about the layout so you had the data bar on the left your time bar at the bottom and your workspace kind of in the middle of the screen and then up up at the top is kind of your different options for these different tabs um, that appear as well. We talked about text panes so your text panes appear at the bottom here and any files that are associated so later I will actually uh, add in a um, a trial and you'll see that appear as well so anything that's associated with that text pane will appear and then you can create multiple text files by clicking on this new text pane. To go to another text pane you have to double click. If you just single click it will it will not make a difference so make sure that you guys are always double clicking to get to those text panes. Um, and then we started to uh, introduce uh, text links in our report so as I said um, you'll need to go to the page where you want to create the link to, press the text link button in the reports tab, go to where you want the, the link to be created. So we were in B, we selected text link, went to C, which is where we want the link to appear. We press the text link button again, and we entered a name for that text link. As shown there. Okay, so we'll just go back to, um, go back to Polygon. For a second, okay. So the next thing that we're going to actually do is, uh, what happens if we want to kind of look at, at two pages at the same time? Um, for example, uh, while we're on page C, uh, I'll just let's say I want to look at page A. So I can right-click on it and, and I can insert read only. Now I can see both pages at the same time. So in case, I, let's say I have graphs on page A, or I want to see what the title page or the, the format of page A is at the same time as doing page C. I can insert this read only and then I can lock this view and there's I, I won't be able to make any changes at all so I'm pressing keys right now and it's not letting me do anything to that read only page and then I can kind of maybe do some reporting on what I see on this page onto page C. Um, the other types of links that we can have as we can see here are a global link and a local link so in order to do this what I'll do is I'll just go into to page B um, and I will go ahead and load in a, a trial. So we'll kind of get into more of this um, in, in the future. Uh, but I will just I'll just do this quickly um, so that you can see the difference between what a global link is and a local link. So go ahead and load in a trial. 
and get some data. So on page B here, if I save what's what's called a global link, it will actually save this entire view. So it'll save everything, uh, the orientation of this page being here, the title page being here, and then this graph view of this of this angle angle. So if I go ahead and click global link, I can then specify a name for that global link and hit OK. However, in order to create a local link, it will only link to um, a specific uh, text pane. So I would actually have to cr click on this text pane, click local link. Actually, let me just give some space there. Click on local link, and I will click OK here. So what we'll do now is we'll close these out. We'll just access C and then go back to B for a second, just so we can see what the difference is. So if I click on global link, this was the exact same view that I had before, specified with my, my title page at the top and my graph view at the bottom. If I exit out of those two, if I was to just click local link, it will only link me to that title page. And um, it will just insert that uh, depending on the view that I had. So it'll just split the screen um, that is largest and insert in this uh, local link. So again, just to review, Okay, so we did this read-only. Um, we talked about two types of hyperlinks, this global and local. So global link is a link to a view configuration. As we saw, it split the screen into three, and so it will restore that uh, view configuration that was present when the link was created, whereas a local link will only link to a specific view. So that was actually that read-only view, and so it will split that screen um, that I had before, and... Uh, either split it horizontally or vertically. So you don't really have control over that. And that's why we generally recommend that you uh, you do a, a global link uh, instead of a uh, instead of a local link. And this is just giving you instructions as to how you, how you should go about doing so. Um, there's a hotkey as well that's available. So control G um, if you just want to click create the global link that way. Um, if we want to delete that link, um, we can just right-click on it and say delete. Or another possibility, um, so this is actually creating a local link, but if we want to change that link, um, we can just go ahead right-click and say replace link. And you can make the changes however you, however you wish. Um, just make sure to um, click yes uh, when this pop-up question appears about whether you want the, the keyword for the, the text position of the link. That's fairly straightforward. The other thing you can do is there's, there's a button up at the top that says that you can actually um, link to another report. So if you have another report created and you want to link the two together, um, go ahead and do so with that report link. It'll open up a, uh, or, or prompt you to open up that report file, and then you can uh, drop that in just like, like we have for these global or local links. Okay, so some of these other features that I'll show you, I'll show you actually directly in Polygon. Um, so, uh, we have some options here. So if we hit F5, we can see that the, pa the panes at the top or the, will, will toggle on and off, so you, you, you essentially get like a full screen view. Um, if I hit F6, just these uh, options disappear. If hit F7, the data pane on the left-hand side will disappear. If I hit F8, the time bar will disappear. So these are all just display options, and if I hit F9, it should disappear. Well, if you hit F9, that attributes pane should disappear. I don't know why it's not working there, but it's not. Um, so that's just reviewed for you there, and again, you also have that Control-G option for the global links. Um, to share a report uh, for people who don't have Polygon, what you can do is you can go back to that Home tab, hit Export Report, and uh, we generally recommend using this uncompressed option, and then you can zip the file later, so you can compress it again later. But what it'll do 
is it will uh, export all the files associated with that trial along with a executable file uh, for Polygon Viewer. So they don't need to download anything. As long as you zip them that file, they can open up that Polygon Viewer and then they can see your presentation um, the way that you have it formatted. They'll be able to view the report, but they won't be able to make any changes at all. So just a review for what we've done today. We created a report. We created text panes in the report and hyperlinks, both text link, global link, and local links. We talked about creating a link to another report. We talked about different hotkeys or shortcuts available um, on the keyboard. And we also then just talked briefly about exporting a report.